Michael Rappaport gets snowballed during Instagram rant by Furious New Yorker, you've been talking all week, shut up, Michael Rappaport gets the New York treatment with snowball to head while doing live Instagram about cancel culture. Michael Rappaport, 51, was pelted in the back of the head with a snowball moments into his latest rant about cancel culture the culprit yelled at the actor and told him to shut up and stop talking it is unclear if the video depicts a genuine incident or a prank with friends the incident comes days after Rappaport had returned to his local right aid on the Upper East Side on Sunday to showcase how barren the shelves were in a video posted to his Instagram he said there's nothing to steal because Everybody stole everything his video came less than one week after he captured a brazen thief walking out of the pharmacy with two shopping bags of stolen goods the Rite Aid store on the Upper East Side is scheduled to close on February 15 due in part to a recent rash of thefts Rappaport has blamed New York's lenient bail reform for the brazen thefts. Actor Michael Rappaport was pelted in the back of the head with a snowball by an angry New Yorker just as he started a new Instagram rant on cancel culture after going on similar diatribes about shoplifting and rising crime in the Big Apple. Rappaport, 51, who has been criticizing crime in New York after he says someone brazenly shoplifting in front of him at an Upper East Side Rite Aid, began a new rant on Thursday afternoon as he took aim at those calling out Whoopi Goldberg, who has been suspended from The View following claims she made about the Holocaust. You know, this whole C asterisk asterisk P with this cancel culture and the Rappaport says before a snowball to the back of the head cuts him off, the screen goes white from the snowball as a man could be heard saying, shut up, shut the F asterisk asterisk K up, nobody wants to hear it. Rappaport curses at the man, who continues to say, you've been talking all F asterisk asterisk King week, we don't care what you have to say, just stop talking, the actor's responds, you got me right in my F asterisk asterisk King head, A asterisk asterisk hole, DMN it, before the video cuts off. It's unclear if the video Rappaport posted of the incident with the caption, rant gone wrong, features a genuine attack by a stranger or if it was a prank with a friend, with some suspecting the angry New Yorker may be Rappaport's comedian friend Bill Burr. Michael Rappaport gets snowballed during Instagram rant actor Michael Rappaport was beginning his latest rant on Thursday afternoon actor Michael Rappaport was beginning his latest rant on Thursday afternoon, when someone threw the snowball the rant was cut short after a passersby pelted him in the back of the head with a snowball. His video came less than one week after he captured a brazen thief walking out of the pharmacy with two shopping bags of stolen goods. The Rite Aid store on the Upper East Side is scheduled to close on February 15 due in part to a recent rash of thefts and Rappaport has slammed New York's lenient bail reform for the rising crime plaguing the city. Rappaport returned to his neighborhood Rite Aid on Sunday only to find shelves empty just days after he saw a brazen thief calmly walk out of the store with two shopping bags full of stolen goods, back in my Rite Aid, he said in a video posted to his Instagram on Sunday, and there's nothing to steal because this Rite Aid like so many other Rite Aids is closing down because everybody stole everything, and the workers here don't know if they're getting jobs. Congratulations, losers, the 51-year-old actor concluded in the video, which had already garnered 20,570 views in just one hour. The actor, known for his work on Boston Public, originally captured a bold thief sauntering out of the store, at 80th Street and 2nd Avenue, with two shopping bags full of stolen goods last week. Michael Rappaport records brazen Rite Aid thief shoplifting in NYC loaded, 0% progress, 0% live actor and comedian Michael Rappaport, who posted footage on Instagram of a bold thief going for a shoplifting spree in NYC on Tuesday. Said he was disgusted by the brazen crime Rappaport said the man in his footage filled two bags with stolen goods before nonchalantly strolling past security and leaving actor Michael Rappaport, 51, returned to his local Rite Aid on the Upper East Side on Sunday to showcase how the shelves were empty Rappaport said in a video posted to his Instagram that there's nothing to steal because this Rite Aid like so many other Rite Aids is closing down because everybody stole everything. Michael Rappaport returns to Rite Aid where shelves are all empty loaded, 0% progress, 0% live he filmed the thief sauntering out of the Rite Aid, while the exasperated actor fumbled with his words before shouting, I can't believe I'm seeing this s asterisk asterisk t. 
He's walking down the street like s asterisk asterisk t is Gucci. He looked me in the face like what's good. I was watching him the whole time. My man just went Christmas shopping in January. The heat star captions the video. Duke just went Christmas shopping at a bright aid. I'm tripping. This happened on a broad day like it was nothing. New at I am Rappaport discusses it all. I was just informed this right aid is closing two fifteenths because of this. Leaving the workers jobless at Eric Adams for NYC Yo. Tagging the drug store chain and New York City Mayor Eric Adams. He told DailyMail.com that he initially thought the thief was an employee because, he was just so deliberate and casual, he said he was, disgusted, and, surprised, when he saw the thief stocking up on items from three different sections of the pharmacy before deciding he was satisfied. These criminals know there are no ramifications. We have to put more of these MFERS in jail, he said. You see all these videos on Instagram of people shoplifting like they're going for a walk in the park. It's pathetic that this is happening in the greatest city in the world, Rappaport said last week. Rappaport told DailyMail.com he was disgusted and surprised when he saw the thief stocking up on items from three different sections of the pharmacy before deciding he was satisfied. Rappaport put the blame on former Mayor Bill de Blasio, who embraced soft on crime policies such as bail reform and police budget cuts. However, Rappaport said that new Mayor Adams could right the ship. I think Eric Adams knows what's going on, he knows how to deal with crime. I'm just hoping he lives up to our expectations. The actor said he relies on right aid, where he buys his mood stabilizers, and that he and many others in the community are now losing their neighborhood pharmacy, and its workers are losing their jobs, because of the rampant shoplifting. These people are gonna be out of a job because of guys like this scumbum, he said, using the invented word as a combination of scumbag and bum. Rappaport, 51, an actor turned podcaster, began his career in the early 1990s and has starred in films including The Heat, Deep Blue Sea, Dr. Doolittle 2, and True Romance. He was born and raised in Manhattan, where he currently lives with his wife Kebe Dunn. The two married in 2016. Rappaport was previously married to Nicole Beatty from 2000 to 2007, when they divorced. Rappaport and Beatty have two children, Massio Shane, 20, and Julian Alley, 22.